Hi guys, so a new video today. Uh, we're gonna talk about my one month no coffee challenge. So I have like, it's not coffee, but you know, you get the point, I think. A cup, just my cup, my favorite cup. I have to mark it like Gemini because I'm a Gemini. So from the 21st of May to the 20th of June. So I'm born on the 24th of May. So I am into that category. So my mm, no, my one month no coffee challenge started around I think mm, let's say in 20 uh, no uh, so 21st of Dece December like something like that and it ends like today. So although it wasn't like a pr mm, strict one month no coffee challenge like I had times when I would drink I don't know with my family or social with friends or I don't know in a trip or things like that like Ima said it's really versatile and all of these like strict protocols and things like that but I really I really tried not to drink so when I was alone or when before I wanted to drink like then I wouldn't drink and like uh, something which was very good for me I replaced the coffee with hot chocolate and it really helped a lot I know it the hot chocolate also has some caffeine in it so maybe it isn't like very good alternator but I really like it like very much so this helped me like through the process and after I think one one weeks or one and a half week after the challenge started I didn't really have the need to like drink hot chocolate or coffee or anything like that I could just drink water and it was like okay I think it's really an addiction or something that like because both my parents drink coffee a lot and maybe I would do that like something like that mm, I don't know but mm, I think I became more focused more calm like this is 100% sure for me I became less um, I don't know, not less active, like, but my energy was really focused into things I wanted it to focus on, not on just random stuff. So, and I observed that, like Ima said, coffee just gives you like a boost of energy for like short period of time, and then it goes away. Mm, so it wasn't really like um, feasible or okay for me to do that for the long run, uh, because before, like. Overall, when I started to drink coffee, I thought like uh, coffee gives you energies to go like, I don't know, for the night or to study more, learn, I don't know, like things like that. But as the time went by and I started to drink like different types of coffee, different amounts of coffee per day, per month, per year, things like that, I observed that for me coffee didn't give me like energy or energy at all because sometimes I would drink coffee and I went straight to the couch to stay for a little bit and I slept like for two hours for I don't know no reason because I was really really tired and my coffee didn't help me at all sometimes it gives it gave me like a small period like of focus or but it was like I don't know 15 20 minutes and then it will like go off but in a manner that after those 20 minutes you couldn't do anything else because you were tired again and like it wasn't really adding up to it and Leia yeah, something like that so I decided to quit coffee like for a month as I said so after that um, I don't really have the need to drink coffee anymore I don't want to I maybe I would drink one some sometimes here and there with my family or where like when you're with your friends like uh, out and about or I don't know things like that but overall I don't feel the need to do it anymore and I think I won't do it in the future like uh, drink as I drank like before like every day or two per day or three per day even like for my age and for my health it isn't very beneficial also for me as a person doesn't really work me. So that's it for today and see you another time. Bye bye.